nerds, hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing uh, kind of a waving, a little bit slower paced practice but still very intense because we'll really be focusing on our inner deep core line, our deep core strength, uh, really activating our, our inner source energy and power. So we'll be going through the practice a little bit slower but it'll still be a really awesome practice. So I'm really excited to do this. We'll start in an easy seat, so just one foot in front of the other. I've got my left foot in front to start, you know, mixing it up. Why not? We're going to start by cultivating our breath. Our breath is um, our prana or life force, so that's really how we're going to start activating our deep source energy, our core power. So we're going to start here just by inhaling. We're going to warm and wide expand everything in your deep low belly. And exhale, squeeze everything and out, exhaling through the nose. As we inhale like that, we're really um, expanding the diaphragm here, which is letting the lungs fill with air. So we're inhaling and exhale, squeezing everything in and out. That deep core breath work is already starting to activate our deep core line and that, that core power. So great way to start your practice. You want to keep that breath through the entire practice. So we'll keep doing that breath, but add some movement. So inhale, arch here, exhale, inhale, exhale, just some gentle cat cows here. Inhale, exhale. Now from here, start circling the spine one direction. Again, making sure that we're using that breath even as we're moving. Awesome. Now we're going to switch the leg that's in front and do that whole thing again. So inhale, exhale, some cat cows. And then now rotate the spine the other direction. So really warming up the spine in all directions here with this. And focusing on the spinal movement. That's how it's going to activate, help us activate and help us focus on all of the muscles that connect to the spine. Awesome. Inhale, reach up here. Big stretch, almost like a big morning stretch and exhale. Inhale, hands come to heart center at Namaste. Just set your intention a little more inward, your focus a little bit more inward for today's practice. And then from here, find your own way into your downward facing dog position. The important thing is to make sure that you are grounding into the earth with strong fingertips, strong palms, and the least amount of pressure in your wrists. You can pedal out your feet here. Again, slowly start stretching and warming up the backs of the legs. You can even get a little, little twist with the body, with your knees. I like to do that, especially if I'm doing a bit slower moving of a practice. Get into the hips a bit more. And then come into your neutral down dog. Start with bent knees and bent elbows. From here, just gonna wave your spine long, and then exhale, press back into your heels. So this way we are keeping a nice long spine. We're keeping our neck long and open. Our shoulders are open. We're not sinking into our shoulders here. I see a lot of people do this in yoga. That is not great for, for shoulder health, joint health, anything like that. And just letting your heels make their way naturally towards the earth, letting gravity do the work. You want to just find that first edge of stretch. You don't have to have your heels on the ground. You want the spine set first. Everything else just kind of gradually makes its way to where it's going to go. Wherever it is on the spectrum, that's where we're going to hang out. Awesome. Now from here, you're going to bend your knees and your elbows. 
and lift your heels. So we're coming really far onto our toes. Wave your spine one vertebrae at a time and come into your plank pose. So again, very waving pose. You might need to step your feet back if you notice your damn bog was a little short. Inhale here, bend the elbows, and exhale, wave yourself back to down dog. Again, wave the spine, then press the heels back. Nothing here, bending everything again, coming onto your toes. Slow wave, again, focusing on the movement of the spine. Inhale here, bend your elbows just a little bit. Exhale, wave yourself back to down dog. Do a couple more of those. Just slow dog to plank waves. Really stretching the spine and lifting in and up with our core. You don't want to be sagging anything like that. So really lifting up. And feeling the movement slowly through our spine. Awesome. One last time here. Inhale. Exhale. This time we'll come onto our knees. Again, we're focusing on good shoulder health here. So lowering towards the earth, hips hit first. Inhale here, prepare. So wave your shoulders back, roll them back. As you inhale, prepare and exhale, roll yourself in and up to a cobra. Inhale here and exhale, lifting up through pointed plank, really lifting with your core, lifting in and up through the front low spine and back to your down dog. Awesome. Now from here, remembering that we're grounding into the earth with our fingertips, slight bend in the arms and the knees. Inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, bend deeply here and bring the right knee into your, right, into your chest for a core plank. Inhale up. Exhale, really bending. This is gonna give you a lot of room to move the leg as well as um, a lot of momentum and good physics to get the leg up there. And one last time. Exhale. Lift, lift, lift the knee in and up, 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 and step the right foot to the right thumb. Awesome job from here. Inhale, wave the spine long. We're gonna bend the back knee, so get really close to the earth here, ground into the earth with your right foot. Roll yourself in and up. Slowly feel the spine unfurl and open the arms up to the sky. Coming into your high lunge. Inhale here, stretch everything up and exhale. Bend both knees, fists come to low belly for fists of fire. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Awesome. One last time. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. This time we're going to inhale. Hands reach out in front of you. From here we're going to ground our left foot. Ground our back foot naturally onto the earth wherever is comfortable. Take your right hand. You can have it in front of you. You can have it behind your foot. Whatever is most comfortable for you. But you want to start bending close to the earth. We'll come into a triangle pose here. So bend close to the earth and then extend out. So again, we're gonna do this slowly so you can really feel that bend towards the earth. Long spine first, hips are aligned, then straightening the legs, then the arm. So if you need to be up here, up here, on a block, wherever you need, find a comfortable position for you. We'll do some circles to, again, feel the movement in our body, as well as get more results from our pose in less time by moving it. So we'll inhale, back up. So inhale, circling down, exhale, and furling back into the pose. Inhale here, exhale, one last time. This time extending the arm over your ear. Get a nice side body stretch there. And Carbo the hand to the earth. Now from here, we'll, we'll reverse that. So bending the right knee, unfurl the right arm to the sky, and then we'll circle down. Everything gets close to the earth. 
and open it up. You can straighten that right leg a little bit straighter for you. Again, finding that first edge of stretch. Circling back down. Unfurling to the sky. And then we'll do a couple more of these circles, letting the energy just wave and move around through our body. And exhale here, just gently fold over your front leg. You can wave the spine long, exhale, exhale. The waves feel nice, just making sure they keep a long spine, and if you want you can even Lift the toes up if that stretch feels good for you. Then bend the knee, really firmly plant your hands into the earth, step back to your downward facing dog. Feel the difference you've made in terms of energy on that right side. You're gonna move it through the whole body, so bending close to the earth here, waving to your plank, knees come down, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale. Back to down dog. Right now we've got to even out that energy. So we're going to inhale here. Slight bend in the uh, knees and the elbows as you lift the left leg high. Exhale. Come into core plank one. Inhale up. Exhale two. Inhale. Again, really using your bent limbs to give yourself a lot of momentum and a lot of space to lift that knee in and up, 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 and then step it forward. So left foot comes to left thumb, keeping our hips in good alignment here. Start by waving the spine long, bend the back knee, and then roll yourself in and up and furling the spine and then the arms to the sky for your high lunge. Now inhale here, we'll stretch everything up. Exhale, fists of fire. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Last one here. Exhale. You can just inhale, reach your arms forward, plant your hands down. Again, find a comfortable place for your left hand this time. Ground your right foot naturally onto the earth. Start by bending everything, getting close to the earth, waving the spine along before extending the hips or the legs. Coming into our triangle pose. And you can have your front knee bent if you need. Again, just find that first edge of stretch and then circle. Rebuild the pose. Circling down, getting close to the earth. And coming back into the pose one last time. This time extending the right arm over the right ear. Really stretching out the side body. And coming back down, bending the left knee this time. Planting your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Left arm unfurls to the sky this time. Circling down, getting close to the earth. Then Extending everything, finding that first edge of stretch. Exhale. Circling this pose a couple more times. And last one. From here, folding over the front leg. You can wave the spine long. And just playing that edge of stretch wherever it is. You can bring the toes up towards the sky, stretching out the calf deeper if that feels good to you. Then bending everything, making your way back to your downward facing dog. You evened out the energy a bit. Bend everything, get close to the earth. Wave yourself forward to your plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Wave yourself in and up. And 
back to your down dog. Awesome. Now we'll end here our, our sequence with those dog to plank waves again. So bending knees and elbows, coming onto your toes, waving forward to plank. Again, step your feet back if needed. Bend your elbows. Wave yourself back to dog. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, wave all that energy through your whole body. Exhale back. Inhale here, exhale, tiny bend in the elbows, wave yourself back, long spine, and from here just walk your feet up to meet your hands, coming into a forward fold, starting this forward fold with bent knees, wave the spine long, so get the long spine first, then you can straighten your legs to your edge of stretch. And they might not be super stretchy, we're not super warm, we didn't do a really intense warming practice. You know, we were really focused on the movement of the bones and that inner energy and cultivating that. So if your legs aren't totally straight here, that's totally fine. There is no reason for your legs to be stick straight all the time and then hurting your back. So wave the spine long again, find that good spinal alignment. And then from here, in whatever way is comfortable to you, make your way to the floor. We'll come into our final resting pose. You can windshield wipe of the legs here. One of my favorite ways to end my practice is by windshield wiping the legs. It's a great stretch, releases, um, you know, all that energy in the low back. It's a little bit of a butt massage, so <laughs> feels really good. <laughs> And then when you're done with that, you can take any yogi's choice pose that you might need before extending out long into your final shavasana here. And just see what your energy is like, you know, in your inner body. It's, again, it wasn't a super intense practice. It wasn't like, ooh, it's really hardcore. But you were really cultivating and focusing on that inner strength. And that's where we get our power from. When we want to be able to channel that even when we're doing a more intense practice. So it's good to every once in a while do a little bit more chill practice and really focus on the spine moving and the bones moving and our structure so that we can automatically use that when we're doing stuff that's a little bit more intense maybe in our everyday lives because that's where we get our power. So really hope that you enjoyed that practice. Hope that you found it useful. Uh, definitely want to see you on the mat again, so make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notifications every time I upload a new practice for you. And of course, I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list, so be sure to sign up there as well. Namaste.